A man is suing League City after he says its police officers wrongfully arrested both him and his wife. It all started with what they thought was a minor fender bender in a parking lot more than a month ago. So we do want to mention that this is a very complicated case with many layers of details. ABC 13's Rosie Wynn breaks it down for us and how the city is responding. We are big supporters of law enforcement until this happens. Randall Hall didn't expect to spend a night in the League City Jail with his wife, Rachel, after she was involved in a parking lot fender bender more than a month ago. She says she was not at fault, which is why she left the scene without providing her information. According to the probable cause statement, the other driver claimed she was at fault and called police who responded after she left. Using a photo taken of Rachel's license plate by the other driver, an officer came to Hall's home and asked asked for her information. My wife was intimidated to the point where she called me. I asked him on the phone as I was in the old campo 90 miles away. This occurred on September 2nd that he either provide a warrant or I would take this up with the police chief the next day. The officer stated in documents that, quote, it is state law to provide information to the involved parties if involved in an accident involving damage. And, quote, after requesting the proper information, she declined to provide me with her driver's license and insurance information and only provided me with her name and cell phone number. Documents stated Randall told his wife not to provide police any information to give to the other driver because of security concerns from a prior stalking incident. The officer left. Two other officers returned to their home more than two weeks later. Doorbell camera video shows when League City police officers arrested Randall at his home for, quote, interference with public duties. His attorney, Randall Callanan, believes the charge was unreasonable. The Galveston County District Attorney's Office ultimately declined to prosecute. For merely speaking on the telephone in a polite manner to the officer without any vulgarities or anything. Well, that violates freedom of speech. Rachel was also arrested and jailed the same night for, quote, an accident involving a vehicle. They say what was most alarming was leaving their four kids, who are between the ages of 15 to 10, by themselves all night. And our kids traumatized because seeing their parents arrested, dragged drug from our home, um, had no idea what had happened had no idea what was going to happen. Randall is asking for $25 million in the lawsuit, vowing to use the money to help others who feel mistreated by police. They also want a public apology from the police department and more training for their officers. In a statement to ABC 13, a spokesperson for the city and district attorney's office says they cannot comment on the specifics of this case due to an ongoing lawsuit.